Hello, it's uh, Kevin X here, and today I'm gonna be giving commenting as well because I want to retain my sanity and not have to rewatch everything since many of his normals are from the show and not the movie. While Gogeta Blue technically also has this kick, this poses much more Vegeta as you can see. Surely you don't expect me to match those punches, do you? Because come on, they're punches. Vegeta punches a lot. And that is why I said retain my sanity, because if I have to search all the fights for that specific pose, each and every punch, I'm gonna lose it. I now place the microphone on my shirt. Uh, this pose here, it reminds me a lot of the Gogeta Blues attacking with the Punisher shield, but alas, it is from the CGI portion of the fight. He does the swirl and does a downward spinning kick in the end, but the pose at the end doesn't quite match, but it's the same movement, so you'll see my reasoning for this. For the moves that I have already made with fighters, I'll simply refer them to the video that I did. That way I can refrain from searching. This kick, however, made me look forward to searching because it's very unique and fun and unlike Vegeta. Vegeta doesn't necessarily spin 360 degrees here, but the kick is similar. Surely you don't need me to remember that Vegeta likes those elbows a lot. Every former Vegeta has this attack, so might as well just throw it here. It's from Majin Vegeta. Vegeta has rarely used kicks such as this one, it's more like a Goku attack, but that's not to say that he hasn't used those. And the other one's a regular kick, but come on, it's a kick! Ah uh, yes, one of the new attacks from Vegeta. I really like this kick, and here's where it came from. Somewhat. Okay, but not really, but I really like this kick. This one took me a while, but I found it. I had this naggy feeling that Vegeta was fighting multiple opponents, and after some searching, it was here. It was upon watching this grab that I realized they did some work for Vegeta Super Saiyan God, which got me pumped for this video. I'm just somewhat disappointed that this is a not an ultimate attack. Definitely could have been. If you notice, his hands are like made to pierce, and that is only one possible reference for this one, which is was very easy. Well, this kick is an old fan favorite, so very easy, but he also does it in the movie. Best ability in a game. If it ends in the air, it goes like Frieza. If it goes to the ground, it goes like Goku Black. So, so perfect. Don't let anyone tell you differently. This is Gamma Burst Flash. They just changed the name. But that's only the charging pose. They changed the firing pose to the same as the final flash so that they could change the name. But as a reward, I'm going to comment over Vegeta's normals for the Super Saiyan Blue Evolved 
just so you can get an idea of where they are from. But I'm not be showing them because I'm too lazy and I'm running out of time for this video. Firstly, I think this is a reference to the rage attack that he did on Beerus on Battle of the Gods because he, it ends with a Gallic Gun and he rages towards the enemy with a combo of attacks. First we begin with the dashing punch, because of course, followed by three punches and a low kick that are from his beating down on Golden Frieza for, from the Resurrection F movie. Vegeta has done plenty of knee attacks, with the most famous ones being from Majin Vegeta vs Goku, he did a lot of knees there. Could also be from his fight with Android 18 or against Perfect Cell, he does some knees there as well. This up kick is his new stamina breaker for this evolved Super Saiyan Blue form, and he also had it in Super Saiyan 4 and in base, his base, base moveset. So that's not from the manga for the Ball Super because Vegeta also does this kick there. As for the source, I don't have a vivid memory, but I think it's from this one. But don't at me on this one. Gut punch, perfect cell kick, taking Gudo's head off, Majin Vegeta sweep kick, a punch, that outwards kick we mentioned, then another sin perfect cell kick, and then Super Saiyan Trunks kick. And a punch to throw them away. I love how he how his hands move before firing the Gallic gun. And that's it. Most of his normals are from the normal Vegeta in Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So I don't want to throw them because that would require me to watch all of his fights in Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. It's not like fighters where I can just look at the manga and get a feel from where they go, which era that they are targeting. So it's a lot easier on that aspect. Plus, I didn't want to subject myself to that when there wasn't such a search for these type of videos for Xenoverse. Seems like you only cared about fighters, so that was another motivation to not motivate. Plus, I'm working on the Merge Zamasu vs. Jiren fight, and that's going to be awesome. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Huzzah!